Right, I've got two chucks set up. Um, these are uh, chucks which have which, which got a thing called a Morse taper on them. The Morse taper is a slightly reducing diameter that's designed to fit into the tailstock of the chuck here. So you drive that in just with friction and the more it pushes in, the, the more it locks in place. Now, uh, the actual hole I want to drill is 3.3 diameter and that's a standard 3.3 diameter drill bit. Problem with that one is if I try to start drilling with it, it's got a bit too much flex in it. As it bends, it's gonna not find a center. It's probably gonna snap or it's gonna give me an inaccurate hole. So I don't wanna start off with that one. I'm gonna start off with this one instead. Now this is what we call a center drill. A center drill is used to make very accurate holes specifically on the lathe, right? I get different sizes of center drill. This is a bigger diameter center drill, but the one we're after is this eighth of an inch one, 3.2 diameter. So here we go, there's my center drill. I pop that into the Morse taper in the tailstock and I bring the tailstock up to the edge of the material, just gently. I lock it in place with a little lever that's to the side of it. Now a good idea is to, let's unlock it for a second, bring that back so that there's a little ruler that you can see on the side that comes out from the middle of the tailstock. If you leave that on a whole number, so I'm on four centimeters there, 40 millimeters, and then if I bring that over, so I stay on 40 millimeters by there. So 40 mil showing on the ruler. Now what I know is, if I turn this on, okay, I'm still on the speed for, for knurling, don't forget. So I'm gonna bring it up a bit. Let's just go up to 115 RPM. A bit faster. Let's go up to uh, 300 RPM again. Right, so if I bring it up to four millimeters, the tip of the cutting tool touches against the material and now I can measure how deep I'm gonna cut in. So if I go in, there's one millimeter, there's two millimeters, three, four, I'm just gonna stop when I get to five millimeters. I don't wanna go in too far with the center drill. Turn it off for a second. Okay, so here's how having two chucks makes your life a bit quicker. Speed your workflow up, we call it. Because what I can do now is just don't have to take those out and change them. I can just swap a different chuck over, put that by here, line it up in the material. Now here's where you need to be very careful with the depth you cut to. So I'm gonna start on the one mil, get that to line up with the hole. I don't wanna drill any further in here than 12 millimeters, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn that on, and I'm gonna measure 12. So the first five is very easy because the center drill's already made those for us. So I'm just gonna carry on cutting now. Now you have to go slow with this, okay, because it's going to build up quite a lot of heat. Give it a rest a moment and just check it's clearing the swarf out. It is possible to snap the drill bit doing this job, so you have to make sure you've got your eye protection on, obviously, all the time keep your eyes protected. I'm up to eight. As long as you can see the swarf coming out of that drill bit, you kind of know you're all right, all right? But if, you, if, it, if the swarf stops coming out, just take a minute. Take it out, okay, I'll do it now, all right? Take it out, get your brush, and clean the swarf off the end of the drill bit. Remember, we only have to get up to about 660 uh, degrees before we melt aluminium. And if that much heat builds up with the friction, then that piece will just melt the aluminium to the end of the drill bit and uh, render it blunt straight away, and then it'll probably snap. So you have to be careful. And that end will be very hot, so I do not want to touch it. Okay, so I've got a hole drilled through, I've got my chamfers on the end, I've knurled it, I've done my parallel turn. My last job I need to do now is cutting that off. Now, I don't want to get a hacksaw to do that because it'll end up looking awful. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a part called a parting off tool. So a parting off tool is used to remove the material from the job. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my parting off tool in. I'll do that trick again to make sure it's centered. Bring that over, bring it over here. And let's just make sure the tip of the parting off tool is perfectly in line with the tip of the dead center. Okay, so it's too high at the moment. I need to drop it down. That's all good. So she's dropped down nicely. Next job, tighten everything up. Make sure it's all good to go. enough space it should be okay I've got a good 10 millimeters 
between that and the chuck, so that's okay. Okay, turn her on, and this is where I do my parting off. So parting off is a large cutting job, okay? What it's going to be doing, like it's taking quite a wide cut off there. It might start to make a bit of noise. You may find that a little bit of WD-40 sprayed on the job as you're doing this will quieten it down. But I'm looking at the swarf that's coming off it, which all seems to be pretty good. You quite quickly get a feel for how good the cut is, depending on the kind of swarf that's coming off. Trying not to build too much heat up on the job. Now as you get towards the end of the cut, people think that's going to fly around the room when you cut it off. But have a bit of faith because what's going to happen is, if you keep on gently with your cut as you're doing it, you will find that piece will just drop off. Okay, do you know what I think actually I'm a little bit low on my cut there, so I'm gonna bring it up very, very slightly. Let's see if that's any better. Definitely needs a little bit of WD-40 on this cut. find that there's no uh, squeaking noise and the cut is a it's a much smoother surface finish best lubrication for aluminium is actually paraffin it's a really really light oil other lubricants we can have for lathe cutting soluble oil so that's like an emulsification an emulsion is like uh, mayonnaise, here it comes, it's going to drop off any second now. Yeah, an emulsion is like a mayonnaise, so basically water mixed with oil, shaken up, and makes it very useful indeed for doing your cutting jobs. Okay, so what I've done, I've cut that off. It's now the right size, but it's going to be pretty hot, okay, so I'll be really careful picking up. Now, if I... How hot that is a minute. Okay, so it's pretty warm, but it's okay. Uh, there's my piece that I've cut. All right, now you can see that little bit on the end, that little nib, that'll come off. The little bit of persuasion. Uh, I don't really want to file that off, though. I'll probably take that off with a lapping board and a bit of uh, wet and dry paper. That's made to exactly the same size as that piece. I've got the hole in the center, and the last job I need to do now is to cut a thread through into it. But remember, it's a blind hole, so I've got to do that really carefully.